Winter is finally here, and for most of us, that means dealing with frigid and freezing temperatures. Unfortunately, many drivers are at risk from freezing temperatures, especially during the early morning or late evening. As the temperature drops, it can be challenging to keep your car warm, and this can be a big problem. Here, we will explore the best portable heater for car to help keep your car warm this winter. To find out more information and updated price on the product we have mentioned, be sure to check the links in the description below. Like the video, subscribe our channel, and hit the bell icon for future updates. Without further delay, let's get started with the list. The fifth product on our list is the Leaflay Car Heater. The heating system is billed as a portable car heater. But don't be fooled, it's not a small device. It's much bigger than you think. It plugs into a 12-volt cigarette lighter and comes with a nice black carrying case. But you'll need to add 6 feet of USB-A or USB-C cable to connect it to a car or power source. Fortunately, the device is USB-powered and most people should be able to plug this heating right into the cigarette lighter socket without having to remove the dash or mess with underseat power wires. The heater itself is small and well-made, and the controls are intuitive. The fan is on-off, and the heat settings are 40, 60, and 80 degrees Celsius. We experimented with our Honda Fit, Subaru Forester, and Jeep Compass. The device works well in all three cars. It warms up the car much faster than if you left the windows down or defrosted the windows manually, as well as heating up to temperatures that seem unattainable with the defroster alone. The fan can get loud, but it wasn't a problem for us while driving. The included cable might be too short for you to get a good connection to your car, but you can always plug it directly into a USB or your car's power port. The heater didn't cause any interference in our test drives, so you can drive with confidence. Up next in fourth place is the Zillion Shiatsu. The Zillion Shiatsu Back and Neck Massager is a good choice for back or neck pain caused by stress, overuse, and repetitive physical activity. It works well in small, medium, or large size areas. However, comparing this to similar products, the massager has fewer massage settings, is slower to deliver heated, takes several minutes to reach 100 degrees Fahrenheit, and it only has two levels of intensity, while most other massagers switch between three and five. It also has a single speed control, so there's not much variation between the low and the highest speed. However, the massager has an adjustable strap to help secure it to the chair or car, and the massager is lightweight and compact. It also has an automatic shutoff, so you don't need to worry about leaving it on too long. The compact size makes it a good choice for travel, and it only weighs 8.5 ounces and takes up less space than two one-pound cans of soda. It also includes a free sleeve to lessen the intensity of the massage, which is great for more sensitive areas. The user manual is good for those who are new to Shiatsu neck massagers. Overall, the Shiatsu neck massager is a good choice for sore muscles, mainly if you're working long hours at a desk or in a stressful position. The third product on our list is the Amazon Basics 500 Watt. The Amazon Basics 500 Watt heater provides effective, efficient warmth for small spaces. It's also one of the cheapest space heaters we tested. At 25 inches tall by 8 inches wide, it's the most compact heater we tested, and at just 1.4 pounds, it's reasonably light too. Its ceramic coils heat up quickly, so rooms warm up quickly, and the small surface area and small size make it ideal for use on a table or desk. At 500 watts, it's one of the more powerful space heaters we tested and can get a small apartment or office up to a comfortable 67 degrees Fahrenheit which is more than adequate for most people. The heater also produces a nice, even warmth at 4.6 feet. The cord is longer than most of its competition. The heater includes a tip-over switch for added safety. But like most space heaters, it's a little noisy. There's also no thermostat, so you can't adjust it. At a medium setting, the heater could heat up a room in about 18 minutes. The heater's design does put most of the heat directly at the bottom of the heater rather than blowing it around, so it's best to set the table or desk you want it on since it'll fall off easily. 
Overall, the heater's design is simple and effective. The second product on our list is the Caframo True North Heater. The Caframo True North Heater is designed for both indoor and outdoor use. My exact impression is that this sad little heater is very expensive for what it is. Based on my limited experience with this product, I would say its major flaw is that its temperature controls do not work as advertised. As someone serious about being comfortable in their space, this is an issue. The True North claims to be able to reach up to 4,000 BTUs of heat, but nothing close to 4,000 BTUs is what I felt. The actual temperature range for the True North is 150 to 2,000 BTUs, which is misleading. Besides the temperature control, True North also suffers from low wattage and long heating time. When it comes to wattage, True North delivers only 400 watts of power. I tested this product in a 1,000 square foot office space. I bought the unit because my 1,000 square foot office was colder than my 1,000, 500 square foot office. I needed to adjust the temperature settings on the True North to get them to even out. The difference in temps was noticeable. The colder office needed to be at 65 degrees, while the warmer office needed to be at 60 degrees. It took about 40 minutes for True North to heat the colder office. Although the unit did reach temperatures of 80 degrees, nothing at all close to 4,000 BTUs. Finally, the number one product on our list is the 10 Pieces Car Heater. This auto windshield heater is the perfect solution for cold weather driving. Designed to meet automotive safety standards, this windshield heater comes with an adjustable bottom, which rotates 360 degrees in a vertical and horizontal direction. The 10 pieces car heater is a much better deal. It's smaller and lighter, but it's much more powerful. At 12 volts, it's less than one third the size of the previous pick, but puts out over twice the power. It has three settings, allowing it to be either quiet and slow or fast and loud, depending on your needs. The extension cord is stiff enough to stay in place, but it's easy enough to bend out of the way. It also has a battery charge indicator, which, while not spectacular, is better than no indicator at all. The windscreen is shaped differently than most fans. Instead of a flat bottom, it has a flat and angled edge. It collects a lot of air, and it blows it evenly. It's quieter than our previous pick, but still a little noisy on its highest setting. Unlike the previous pick, the windshield fan comes with a nice car adapter and carrying case. The only thing it doesn't have is a timer, as it only has three speeds, which makes it a bit less convenient, but for a car windshield fan, that's not a deal breaker. To find out more information and updated price on the product we have mentioned, be sure to check the links in the description below. Thanks for watching this video. If you enjoy this video, then hit the like button. And if you are new to the channel, then subscribe the channel and hit the bell icon for future updates.